Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can design a document in Microsoft Word that has the appearance of a form and then use Acrobat to convert the Word document into an interactive PDF form. To create a form this way, launch Microsoft Word and enter text to include in the form. When you are creating the Word document, keep in mind that Acrobat will look for visual clues as to where it should place form fields, check boxes, radio buttons, and signature fields. To indicate where a text field will be placed, follow the field name with an area of underscoring. To indicate a checkbox or radio button, place a circle or square symbol before the associated text. Use symbols consistently and be sure to add a space between each symbol and its associated text to help Acrobat recognize form elements. When you have completed your document in Microsoft Word, save it as a Word document. Exit Microsoft Word and launch Acrobat. Select the Prepare Form tool from the Tools Center or the Tools pane. The Prepare Form screen then appears. Click the Select a File link to launch the Open Dialog box. Navigate to find and select the Word document you just created, and then click the Open button. The Prepare Form screen changes to reflect your choice. If you want the form to have a signature field, check the box that says this document requires signatures. To create the form, click the Start button. Acrobat displays a Progress informational dialog box during the operation and then displays the newly converted form when finished. You can then make additional changes to the form using the tools found in the Forms pane as well as the Forms toolbar. Acrobat's system of detecting form elements isn't foolproof, so you may find that some areas of text which you intended to be form fields were not recognized. Using the tools in the Forms pane and Forms toolbar, you can manually add whatever fields were undetected during the form creation operation. Later on in this chapter, we'll learn more about Acrobat's form editing features. If you are an advanced Word user, note that Acrobat will not convert actual form fields created using the Developer tab in Word, with the exception of the checkbox form control. Acrobat will, however, determine where you intend to place form fields by examining the Word document for visual clues as to where it should place form fields. You can use the checkbox form control to create checkboxes. To indicate where a text field will be placed, simply follow the field name with an area of underscoring or add the underscore character to existing text fields within a copy of the Word form. The text field will be placed over the underscored area. Be sure to add a space between each symbol and its associated text to help Acrobat recognize form elements. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.